Art Emotion exclusive podcast episode. The competition is literally just finished. We just finished watching it. Johnston wants to do the intro. He's going to do that and then I'll chat. Go. Loser! Are you happy with yourself? I actually am. I've been rehearsing that for at least 15 minutes. Good. Um, yes, welcome. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, it's because we've actually really been slacking with YouTube videos. So we thought, why not do this? Put it on YouTube and try and get in on the, the fact that people are going to be Googling and looking up our emotion. So hi. Uh, normally, the video of this podcast goes exclusively on our Patreon, which is called The Workshop. So if you're not a member there, you should be because they're cool guys and you're not unless you're one of them. Uh, Keelan would normally be here sitting where Robbie is, but he's on a camping trip with his family. So I'm joined by the two Scotsmen who are down because these guys, not me, unfortunately, have just finished filming a, a big project that we're working on. Someone's phone isn't muted because you're unprofessional. Um, so our emotion was sick. It was sick. It was so unexpected. It was just, it was very unexpected. There was a lot to, yeah, yeah, a lot that was unexpected as well. Um, yeah, I mean, so first things first took place in a papyrus, 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 but that sounds kind of accurate, which is next to Athens in Greece, uh, for a new location. Last year, no, not last year, because there was a pandemic. It took place in Madeira? Ma Madeira. Yeah, Matera, wasn't it? Matera. 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 We're, we're great. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't there. <laughs> in so. Italy. No, I wasn't there. Um, it was good. Didi obviously won. And this has been, I think this is the first big competition since COVID, right? Yeah. Nothing really has happened. And I kind of was thinking, like we, the second it got announced, I booked an Airbnb for all of us. And... I then couldn't go because my baby's about to explode out of Sarah. And I <laughs> couldn't really risk being, it, it, it wasn't fair to be out of the country. And uh, you guys didn't go because you're just fools. Yeah, just, I mean, they look like they had fun. I know. Got a 10 day quarantine on return. Yeah, so yeah but like, like you, you swap, <laughs> you just, you spend that 10 days reminiscing about the quarantine. Well, maybe. Oh, I'm going to spend my 10 days. Days. And also like when, <sighs> everything comes back to Wembley for me. It's like, if there's that many thousands of people in a stadium watching a football match, Ridiculous. And you've been around a few people in Greece. I don't want to say screw the quarantine, but you know, like yeah. it's Logic the, the, really the hypocrisy up. in the, in the UK Logic. government. <laughs> yeah. Um, but let's not get political, but yeah, I, part of me thought the comp wouldn't happen because of COVID, but it, it did. And I'm very glad it did. Um, and it was sick. First competition, as far as I'm aware to ever happen on a boat or two boats. What did you think about that? I thought it was sick. I, I like in my head when I heard it was on two boats. I thought like there was going to be a different course on each, and maybe the finals were going to be on one. And then oh, I didn't even think about that. Just in my head, and then I thought I saw that you could jump between the two boats, and I was like, "That's sick." Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I didn't know really what to expect, but I was kind of apprehensive. But they definitely picked. I, to be honest, I prefer the, the look of that course to the look of the Madeira Madeira I just course. say that. I think it was way better. It was just a bit course. like droppy and and big. The other one, it was just platforms. It just used the space better as well. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like you take a smaller area, a bit like Santorini, where it's. I mean, there was a big area, but the rooftops are very tightly knit, so mm. it's like the smallness means that people have to be creative. Whereas the last one was like, here's a load of platforms. Who's going to suit gaps. down one of them? Yeah, like, yeah. I think the second boat was a bit cramped by the looks of things yeah like it wasn't like the first boat looked sick they probably could just... have got away with like using the second boat as like you flip to it and that's your finish point rather than like the finish point is i guess it's anywhere you want but for most people it seemed to be the far end the of the boat yeah like point. nothing really got thrown on that second boat once they'd done the gap that was like whoa like who who caught the gap was that Lily? Yeah, uh, no uh, travis no 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 cork oh. the the small gap the small one yeah. Uh, okay. Was that Lila when she fell down it? Yeah. No, she'd done the A-twist. A-twist. Oh, you A-twist. mean the back, back full? Back full. There we go. It was a back full. Yeah, yeah. That was kind of like nothing. It, it was like that and a few other things that were like, oh, sick. But apart from that, it was a lot of like more techie, flowy stuff. Yeah, yeah. So. wall spin was cool. <laughs> wall spin. Wall spin on the 
Yes, yeah, yeah I rate a wall spin. Yeah, yeah. Underbar. And uh, I liked to Bob Reese's underbar. But we'll go through all of that. But I mean, so negatives of the boat that became very, very, very fucking obvious was the fact that everyone was slipping over. Yeah. yeah. Like dangerously slippery in places by it the looks like of it. All of the surfaces as well, though. There were like or weird stains one. where yeah. it looked like you're like, okay, that looks almost like it's not dried. And then there were other areas where people just like, you could see it was like, whoosh, like that, which is pretty fucking. Bit, a bit scary. But I don't know I, if there was like anyone who didn't slip a tiny bit. Mm, it looked once, like everyone yeah. was. And there were a few that. people, like I know Ed specifically had one that just like really kind of, it like catches you off guard. Yeah. It wasn't even the landings though. It was usually the kind of 180s. It was you landing. land and then you go to step to push away oh, and you like just go, oh, there goes all my momentum. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> and then Kaya's execution's like, <laughs> like tick <laughs> or cross. Yeah. Um, but as we said, positives, I think there were definitely a lot of them. And the other one was cameramen because yeah. as always yeah. fucking, I mean, this has been such a big debate on Instagram, even prior to this competition. I think Danny Labaka said something about it. And then obviously we saw in the qualifiers, that guy got in the way, Travis, we saw in this, was it Lee? Lee Lu wanted to do something and the cameraman was like touching I think was, her. Yeah, they went up to do a castaway or something and because they thought- Oh, that was somebody early on. That was- That was the first. Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember Hannah? who that was, but- Was it Hannah? Uh, yeah, it was. It was. It was uh, Hannah Ho. Is that her name? Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. Um, and she went up to do. It looked well to the cameraman. It looked like she was climbing on top of the platform. But she, she did a cast away, away and he just back. shit himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there was that thing. I think it was Lilu was doing like a bit of a swing through. But yeah, the camera looked really close, even yeah. though it was on a wide angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close. Um, yeah. And it, it was only to be fair. It was only that specific cameraman in that area, and then the guy that Bob Reese hit with the chair, which was a <laughs> fucking amazing. <laughs> I don't know, do, do the cameramen know their runs? Because I feel like- Not like, uh, I know from experience of being there in the past, they used to like draw a map. Like they'd have a map at the Santorini course and they draw a line and give it to like the camera team. But that's kind of all you get. It's like, okay, I know they're coming this way. But they don't like, and as you said, cameramen don't know the momentum. Mm -hmm. So, and to be fair, even a parkour cameraman, it's like um, Hannah climbing up. You might think she's climbing up, but yeah. it's fairly obvious to like hang back just for a second to make sure they're not doing a castaway. And the thing is though, there's, there's, it's like so many good camera people in parkour that yeah. they wouldn't find it hard to I find think people. probably, I was thinking about this this morning, is that the, the, the obvious reason, well, one of the obvious reasons they don't do that is because budget, because if you were like, okay, we're gonna fly in, let's say me, you, like Toby, a few other people who are like pretty experienced camera gear, we've worked on like bigger things. Cause obviously they're carrying like a live streaming rig. Yeah. That work, they're either working with the big boy cameras or the, the like Ronin with a, a thing. So there's a level of like professionality that has to go with that to ensure that the job gets done. Um, and, but, but uh, yeah, so I guess it's budget and also like, it's like, oh, it's too, it's just too much hassle to like get these outsiders in because Red Bull do have a team and for yeah. them, for the other areas of the event and other Red Bull projects, the camera team are fairly proficient, but it comes to that thing where it's like, like I, yeah, I'm sure in skateboarding they have similar issues and stuff like that. It's pretty wild though. I guess actually even in skateboarding, like you, you normally, let's say like a street comp, you'll just have a few long lenses on the side. You never really have somebody on the course Not going like, mental, like slap bang and yeah, let's, let's get a wide well. angle. And they had a few remote GoPros, which was fine. Mm. They did have a photographer kind of like in the corner. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. And uh, they did have cable cams, which the first cable cam shot with Hannah was like, they cut to it at weird times, but after that, it did get a lot better. The one thing I have to say, actually, the stream was way better than ever before. We had one pause. We had one pause personally, but I don't even think that was related. I think that was just our internet glitching or something. Yeah. Like normally the stream is really fucking bad. And yeah, I think to be honest, bad, actually. I think because they were in Athens rather than Santorini. So the remoteness, because Santorini, they used to, they used to drive this thing onto the ferry, this huge van, like a streaming yeah, broadcasting unit and park it like around the corner from the event with this big satellite dish on it and like do all of that. Whereas I'm assuming Athens, it's a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, I mean, do we, like I was basically taking notes throughout the entire comp of each run, so to speak. Do we want to run through it all or should we just kind of... What, start to finish? Yeah, or do we just kind of, I mean like round one, the, the That's thing, the heats, isn't it? Yeah, the, yeah, oh, the heats. Sorry, they obviously break it into the heat system, which is three heats of six. Men and women are combined, and then they break it out from that point onwards for the finals. Noah obviously made it through. I think they weren't. It, some people were saying she was the first woman to get through. Others were saying Lucy had done it prior, which I honestly can't remember what the accurate one is. But one that was sick. But two, like 
they then obviously break it out for the final. So they do judge the women independently, whereas they used to just judge a, a woman against them, against the men, which was always just fucking harsh. Like, mm. um, but yeah, I mean the, the thing I, my, my biggest takeaway from heat one was that the judging as always yeah. suffers on the first heat. Like we had Hannah who did, it is Hannah, right? It's, I thought it was Hannah, Ho, but I'm not sure. Oh fuck. I'm so fucking bad with names. I'm, I'm, looking, up, I'm looking it up. <laughs> yeah. I'm so bad. Uh, yeah, uh, Han, Hanaho. Yeah, yeah. Um, she did a really nice run, but it sort of um, was was marred for uh, the viewers by camera issues and stuff like that, which is a shame. But uh, it was Ellis who came second, and obviously Ellis is an exceptional athlete. And I personally expected him to be a little bit blocky in places because I think he's not as connective as like someone like Archie. Yeah, but but it's funny his, though, because sometimes he, he does have that connectivity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Online and stuff, but you just don't know how many times he's prepared that. Exactly. You don't know how many attempts the Instagram yeah. clips had. I was, I, I had him down on getting through in this heat. And, and um, I wouldn't have been surprised if he had, but it just felt like the judges gave him such a low score. Yeah. But you don't notice that when, when they give him the score the first time, you go, okay, that's his score. But then when it gets in the four, yeah, four runs later, you go, ooh, that was weirdly low in comparison. Yeah. Um, I thought like his difficult, like he had a really hard swing double pre as first yeah, right, move, right? right? Yeah, um, yeah. And I can't remember what they gave for dip, like. Let's not you know pick pick the scores apart or whatnot. That like, was a really was, nice addition though that we got to see the breakdown, like yeah, of yeah, all the things, like that, yeah. because it at least meant that like one you could figure it out a little bit as it came in. You were like, oh okay, but also it just felt a bit more transparent because there's always been issues in the past where we've been like, like it was the Josh issue two years ago. It was like, why did he not get as high on creativity? But now being able to see the comparison was kind of useful to have. Yeah. Um, Noah came after him, didn't he? No, it was Josh. It was Josh. So Josh came yes. after. Obviously amazing, amazing stuff. Still a slam, didn't it? It was the slam on the weird gainer 360 it kind Josh. He disguised it with a bit of a roll. He definitely it disguised it, but in slow-mo you yeah. can tell, like you're like, oof, like it's that was pretty heavy. Um, once again, I don't think anyone in that round was, the heat was judged no not judged well it's more just the bat it's it's oh, it's just so fucking it's hard standard, isn't it? yeah it's so standard. it's like it's really hard to know where his points were and maybe what they would have been if he'd been in a later heat but i don't think given his run he should have gone through if you know what i mean like mm. it, it wasn't a case of that um i think to be honest ellis was the one that felt a little bit robbed in this heat like mm. yeah definitely noah came after this, her we were fucking blown away by her yeah, run. Yeah, yeah, so clean. Yeah, it was like it clean, was so well connected. The ra- the line in the middle where she did like round off Arabian Kong, Kong, Kong out palm flip Kong, up. Like, yeah, yeah. they yeah, th- th- really really surprised by hers. Yeah. Um, definitely, definitely deserved to be first. I think it, it fit the judging criteria well as well. Yeah, like the way she put it together. Well, there it's wasn't too much. There wasn't too little. Yeah, and yeah. the things she did like hit home. Like they. Yeah, really yeah. Good weird. balance of difficulty and stuff like that. Um, which, yeah, I think, I think like, yeah. I've already sort of seen talk of like whether or not she should have gone through or whether it should have been Ellis and Bob. Travis, uh, Travis right? We've not gone well, to yet. So because per- he, was, he was one point lower than Noah. Right? Yeah, and so but this is where point. I think Ellis personally, I mean, Ellis was, obviously yeah. I should be biased towards Travis, but the, the, the biggest thing that I noticed was that he did four or five side flips, which... yeah. It, I'm assuming he probably, I know one of them was meant to be a side flip step through into that like Kong, yeah, uh, not that. Kong, double handed gainer, gainer <laughs> thing he did for the set, which was fucking sick. And obviously he did court gap on the thing, but it did feel a little bit side flip heavy compared to where like someone like Ellis, for example, was a, he had more double range. More yeah. 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 Um, which is a real shame because I fucking wish, like I'd, I'd love to see Travis go through and no, no discredit to him. Um, but f- I don't know. I, I just felt like Ellis probably, in hindsight, when you yeah. look at when you look at the whole stack, probably should have got a slightly higher score because there could have been like two or three different combinations of people going through in that heat, and depending on how they were. Yeah, just sorry. depending on like their run may not have changed at all, but just depending on how it was judged, like you could have been like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, that yeah, also it's, makes it's, sense. It's just hard. It's yeah. always the way we're judging, isn't it? Um, but yeah, and then obviously Bob's was pretty fucking good. 
Like he did that slightly gimmicky slidey thing at the start. <laughs> I thought yeah. that it just put me off. It just yeah, threw so me much. like at, right at the start of his run. Just I, 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 think, I, I think we all just went, oh no, like what's he doing? Like <laughs> and he, bit, he missed his hand on yeah, the thing and like. Yeah. That was one of the only points he actually paused. He like, knew, yeah, he knew Jason was judging creativity. <laughs> 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 but like he could have not done that in his run. He wouldn't have, he wouldn't have lost anything. No. If anything, yeah, in my yeah. opinion, he would have mm. probably gained something. But very, very, I mean, he's the underbar, like, though. the underbar was sick. Yeah, that was, that was he did the like, he did the like 360, kind of a 360 front uh, off that yeah, platform at the start. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he was deserving to basically to go through. In yeah, first I think place. he was, I think he did put together the most comprehensive. For sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, I think the debate was really just <laughs> Noah or yeah. Noah, Travis or um, Ellis, I think. Yeah. Um, but there's arguments for each of them and this time it was Noah. So yeah, that's I would like to uh, foreshadow later on in our talk where Bob, obviously after this, then when talking to Benj, claimed that he had the <laughs> most creative trick. The <laughs> most, the most creative trick I we have ever said, seen. I think he said most creative line. Or line, run. yeah, yeah. Um, <sighs> big, words, big words, <laughs> big words. Big statements, <laughs> big words, yeah. Um, but yeah, so round two was, I think, where it really felt like the judges found their feet a bit yeah. more. Um, granted, the judge, the, the the lineup, I think in round in heat two was probably the easiest to pick from when it came to the runs. Yeah, like in in kind of hindsight, possibly, of it. but but yeah, I mean, if Jared Luty had finished his run, yes, fuck and me, the first David, guy, David Rizzi, David, yeah, I think that's how you say it. Yeah, he, I mean, both that of them was a solid run. Like he could have easily gone through. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. You know, um, I think both both of those had a solid amount of potential. Yeah. It was Ed and Christian just took it. Yeah, and both of the girls did really well as to well. To the next like level. Miranda's yeah. got some power and Lily just stomped that double yeah. cork. Like yeah, Mar Miranda's got fucking, she's so strong. Yeah. Um, but yeah, David was sick. Like he... Uh, David. I'm sure it's David. David. Oh, I'm sorry. He's, he's Italian. Davide. Davide. <laughs> okay. I don't know. He was sick. He was sick. He seemed, I, I, I don't think I've ever met him. He looked like a nice guy, but... Um, I said big, a few slip ups biggest after the back full gap, which I now can't. Oh, he fucking back the gap on the second boat and then fell and like ribbed the block. Oh yeah. Which that's the kind of execution that will knock you a bit. Cause it's quite an, yeah. it's like an out of control bail, isn't it? Yeah. In fast motion, I think it sure. sure. was, it it like, it it was it wasn't, it was more it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Nudge, yeah. But it was nudge, like, nudge. I think it's the, if the judge can feel that there's like an element of lack of control, control. Yeah, yeah. it's like oh he's actually falling rather than like all, he's saving that he yeah i think if he just had more more room between that box that he fell into though then it wouldn't have even looked sketchy no. yeah you yeah, know yeah. What i mean so yeah it was just the confineness of that second you could boat probably yeah see the corner coming towards him like, he was like, oh, yeah. oh fuck i can't oh, i've got i've got here for miranda <laughs> was the one time that we kind of got this like attempt at doing the fpv live stream which yeah half works and then like they just fucked the cutting after that i got, for a I got freaked out because i was like what like if i was doing a run and i had an fpv dream, oh, suddenly yeah. <laughs> i would have been like honestly yeah like, stacked it but um no nah, she was she was sick and then yeah jared luti like he did that gate full at the start in that tiny little gap oh, in that yeah, tiny yeah. thing yeah they, they so cool. that was really like that was really bad he was like up yeah. until in he basically screen. stopped it was like, okay, he's he's oh, smashing this, like, boom, 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 so what, fast. We've had discussions about where we think he had that shoulder injury. Because he did the back handspring at the start, See, right? I over that the, the roll? Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't roll? think the back handspring got him. No, then no. he did that 360 dive roll that looked a bit heavy. Yeah, that must have been it. Because then he liked, But then he side flipped over that kind of fence, and it looked like he almost clipped it. And then he went to do the pop palm and just stopped, yeah, and then yeah, was like, fuck it, I'll send it, and then stopped. Yeah. Um, that's a shame though, because it was it was a really nice run up to that point. Yeah, straight up, like yeah, it going on to well, Ed next. Was... Personally, if he carried on at that momentum without the pause between the yeah, pop palm, yeah. could have beaten Ed could because have, yeah. like connections were just as much as we all love Ed. That was not his strongest competition run. It wasn't. I felt mm. like usually when I watch Ed, I feel really confident in what he's doing. Like well, and also he, he looks like he's very confident in every movement. And to be fair, he had a lot of slips. Like yeah, he yeah. really suffered with slips. Yeah. Um, but it didn't feel like the course on that run, at least it didn't feel like the course was right for him. Like, no, but, I mean, he pulled, he pulled through. Oh yeah, um, for sure. Yeah. Put everything together and ended with a nice yep. cork. Yeah. 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 And then Christian obviously just did hit what Christian does best, which was just like, <laughs> 
He doesn't stop. Short, but very, very good. Sword yeah, pack, lots of hard so, stuff yeah, with yeah. connectivity. Very clean. Sketch gainer pre, and then sketch wolf oh, flip. The gainer pre was yeah. The gainer pre was, was nice fucked, though. and oh. then he immediately then goes to that thing and does the wolf flip on the uh, yeah yeah. It's so easy. The to boom. Come back that's ahead. it. Not a beam. It's a boom. Is that a boom? I think it's a boom. I think it's a beam. Was it a beam? What the boom's beam? the boom's the bit that actually has a sail attached to it. It might have just been a beam. I thought a boom was. No, 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 the boom, the boom on a, a boat is the, the that bit that turns with the sail. I um, I used to sail, darling. Ah, yes. Back in my day. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he went through with a massive high score, which was like four nineteen. Yeah, but he that deserved he, it though, like completely. That. Yeah. Completely. Like mm. that. There was nothing to fault. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then obviously Lilu came next. She obviously did that double cork quite near the start. Her line was very long. I feel like yeah. she probably just packed a bit too much on I think there. she tried to show the judges everything she could do yeah and yeah I, I yeah she just had to cut out a few things and like make it more concise because when you watch her like tempest runs where she's like very kind of short bursty combos they're super super impressive yeah, but it yeah. felt a little bit like she was like oh shit i may as i've got to get all the way over I there i think it's when you watch someone and their energy just just fades throughout it and it's like oh yeah like and and she had end. the fucking cameraman so at the start it was just absolutely perfect so through like along that first boat and then it just started yeah then the cameraman issue and that might have thrown her and you know yeah yeah so. yeah it would have been really interesting just to see if they'd just done one boat and then were like cool you can just jump to this platform and finish because yeah. it would have it would have confined it a little bit more um and yeah so Christina and I went through which was kind of that that felt correct basically yeah, I think so yeah uh heat three Mimi which is lo, lo Kim Thea 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 <laughs> yeah something like that very long name uh, he was fucking sick yeah. he was actually Energy, so sick that's what I was talking about yeah, the just overall the run was it was like bam 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 um, oh he did that like crazy side fall thing where he kind of like got up on that block yeah did like I thought for a second he got freaked by the cameraman because he hopped up did like a kind of 180 like and then did the side fall yeah, yeah. like towards the cameraman and the cameraman once again was then freaking dicks like yeah, he was running away um, but he he was like if, I mean, if he'd been in heat one, for example, it would have been like Bob and him, I reckon. Yeah. Well, I think he'd have gone through. Yeah. Mm. Um, but that's that's the nature of it. Though, oh, of course. It? Yeah, like yeah. It's you literally never just know what you're going to get. And luck of the draw. Against, so. But, you know, that was sick. Um, in the end, though, usually the top two or three are usually the same, like regardless yeah. of... Yeah, yeah. That, well, that's, that, that's the, the benefit of the heat argument. system. Yeah. Um, Lisa was sick. Very, very creative. She had some like cool areas, but once again, a bit like Lilu, where it was just it was a long. Like you just. Yeah. She was having fun though. Like, yeah. You could yeah. feel it. She, she, she was, enjoyed it. Yeah. 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 Like she did the like swing yeah. gainer variation at the start, it's where she like office. came off the thing. Um, I actually really, really liked her run, especially the bit by the boom or beam, whatever we were calling. Yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. About that area, I really liked that. Yeah. Part. And then uh, Elise came in with like higher difficulty but a little bit more like blocky than uh lisa she did the sketchy sketchy backflip that's oh, terrifying fair play for like i would she hate to do so that i well, would hate to do that it's like there was a moment where she like just caught her balance and it was like yeah yeah it's a little on like a knife's edge of the like, little step back. Looking at the gap before going she just goes straight up to it yeah yeah back. Like, that's to be fair if you felt yourself going you're like well i'll just double back into the sea like <laughs> fuck it i guess it's over um and oh, she side gapped between the boats, which was sick. Oh, yeah, without yeah, yeah. without the step up, which obviously made it yeah, difficult. Yeah, yeah. That I mean, you could see throughout that comp that the gap was changing size as well, time, which is no, pretty no. wild. Because I spoke to Travis about it because he he's obviously done double cork gaps. Mm -hmm. I think to be fair, with the higher height difference, and I said like, oh, is that a thing? And he was like, it's just too unpredictable because you don't know what you're going to get, like mm -hmm. distance wise. Um, but yeah, that was cool. Dee Dee classic dd basically for Rapid the uh, the start was just like bam 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 but a bit stumbly like there were quite a yeah, few yeah. bounces off of walls Over yeah. yeah which to be fair we saw that in matera as well um yeah but That's, uh that was the that was the other controversial moment well not controversial but but it could have gone either way between dd and, and mimi yeah and it's really interesting when like you get you never really seem to see like two point difference. It always seems to be one point because it, it was, um, yeah. Someone else had, I think Travis was beaten by one point as well. Yeah, and, and yeah. And, and obviously the judges are all inputting their own scores. So it's not like somebody's going like, fuck it, give them, give them one point more to get them through. Like, so, uh, 
Who was the one actually where it was, it was at the start. Do you remember? There was that massive pause after. Yeah, it was after Noah's run. After Noah's where like her score started to come up and then they disappeared. High. And then they went lower. And then there was a long time where yeah. they were like, hold on, we need to just and we like were like, check everything. Yeah, we were like, they're definitely reanalyzing like where, because the, that's the thing. They, they set the first couple of runs, set the bar of where if, if the first person gets difficulty of 60 and then everyone else is worse or better, it mm. throws everything off. Mm. Like it's, it's so challenging, but I mean, there's, I don't think there's been any, like in, in this comp, I wouldn't say there's any kind of discredit to the judges or, or anything like that. I think they did a very good job given all the circumstances. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Didi, Didi, I think like yeah. His ultimately run, yeah, his run was, it was, his run was a sick run yeah. and he, he did it pretty well. Yeah. Enough to get him through just. Yeah. <laughs> and now, uh, Shaya twin parkour with the, uh, Oh, arse away, <laughs> arse away, <laughs> arse away, pre. Yeah, that got, was. He's going to be standing on the flight home. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, right? I, I, it looks like it got like heels, well, like arches, and then cheek. They take most of it in the feet. But imagine like if it, it was, was just co like if that was coccyx, that would break his fucking oh, coccyx, yeah, like yeah. break your fucking lower it back. It was close though, like like. <laughs> In the when I watched it, I was like, "Oh fuck, he wasn't actually that close." But when in the slow mo, he did. He his feet were yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah, he just needed like another inch. And, and it's he, probably like it's, there's it's probably not even there's obviously the factor of how far you pushed away, but also there's fact just factors of like when you open out. Because if he'd yeah, opened out yeah. a little bit earlier and got his toes on, he might have fallen short. But at least he would have like still landed on it. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. but fair fucking play for they trying. Practice like yeah. pretty clean. Yeah, this stuff. was the thing we knew it was coming. We yeah. you you didn't know, uh, right? Well, I'd I'd heard talk. I didn't want to hear talk. I like to experience things as they're on. Yeah, 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 yeah. We saw on Instagram really he was prepping it, yeah. and I think someone said that. I think it was maybe Bob said that he was going. to No, Jared. Maybe someone was he's, like, oh, he's, he's got, maybe, maybe yeah. It was, yeah like, it, was, it was one of the uh, interviews with, oh yeah, Davido yeah, or something. Yeah. And he was just like, there's going to be something horrible coming up. Yeah. But to be um, fair, the rest of his run was he like fucking, sick. It yeah, was yeah, so yeah. jam-packed and rapid as well. If like, I took that, I'd perfect. probably just sit down and cry. Yeah. Like, I'd be like, I think I've just been violated just by just a wall. Just <laughs> <laughs> <You're> violated. <laughs> and he just carried on going, which is sick. Um, and he did the Kong Prix. Yeah, yes. yeah first guy so to do the coming free on the boat, yeah, yeah, yeah. which once again the boat moving and the weird awkward angle and the quite, uh, yeah, quite yeah, yeah. Angle. and the fact that everything's Kong. slippery. It's like just, so, I don't even know why, but it's so fresh to see a Kong Prix in a competition, <laughs> yeah, yeah. even though it shouldn't feel. And fresh. it's a legit Kong Prix. It's not yeah, like a little like I don't know, just cascading down a platform like doing a little one. Yeah. Like, I yeah. thought more was going to go down between that gap between the two boats. To be fair, I think just unpredictability. Yeah, and the slightly weird takeoff. Yeah, thin takeoff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and then Archie, who's talking about thin takeoffs, did the back, back full on the wall straight to pop side yeah, out. Yeah, and I initially nice. thought the wall was the same thickness as the, that one you were just talking oh, about. Okay. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and then I saw in the replay. Um, Still fair play though. Like, he banged the car to Hara over the wall. Yeah. That could have been, that could have been a stumble, but he managed to get that yeah. lazy out. Yeah. 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 His, his straight away. Fast probably I would say that's the best run of the whole comp. Finals yeah, and yeah, overall, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was the highest scoring. Yeah, as well. and then he goes up and does the double frisbee with a like pistol like, grab or whatever it is, yeah. which is sick. And he rolls out that quite well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, that that was just like top tier. And I mean, to be fair, everyone who I spoke to prior to the comp said like he is looking strong. Like we and, and even in like the frosty and things were saying like that is his course. Like that is just what he likes. Yeah. I'm surprised that he had triple fill though. Mm. Yeah. Lots of triples yeah. being thrown in practice thing on is, Instagram. Really? Because I didn't, I didn't see anywhere where it was like that would be a nice place to do. A triple where fall. people were doing it, I think where Archie did it in practice was um, on the first boat. You know the place basically straight to the left of where he did the double frisbee. That platform. Uh, yeah. He was doing them that way, going that way. Okay. Yeah. But I guess it just didn't work out with the direction. Like, um, and then yeah, Archie and Didi go through, which once again, I think it was, it, Archie was a given and then it was the, it was just, yeah. meme, it was the Mimi Didi debate. It's yeah. a shame really, because obviously Didi then uh, bailed first move in his thing. Yeah. It would have been really interesting to see obviously what Didi was going to do, but also what uh, Mimi, <laughs> Mimi and Didi yeah. <laughs> could have done in finals. Yeah. Um, I realized actually, just going back to Christian, I did really rate the fact that in his interview, they were like, oh, were you surprised to get through to finals or yeah. whatever? And he was like, no. <laughs> like, he was like, I did everything I wanted. Like I, that you, he's- yeah. He knows. Him and Ed and probably Archie, but we don't see as much like, well, I personally haven't seen as much kind of from Archie in regards to like 
how he treats competition and things are very like they take that shit seriously and they mm. deliver on it like which is sick yeah because some people do competition for a bit of fun others do it for fun but you also could see, you could see who was prepared and knew that they were going to get through and we're in it for yeah, the long run. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I spe- yeah, because it's always, when it comes to the final, some people actually going on to the finals, Noah felt potentially like she didn't really have much planned. No. She still had a lot of fun. She did some cool stuff, but it wasn't like she'd saved some big banger for the final, which some people obviously do. Yeah. Bob Reese specifically. Oh, but just uh, to, to, to say actually, Noah's double A's though, consistent in both runs, yeah, just same. fucking yeah. amazing. Like the cleanest tricks of the competition. Yeah, just yeah, like yeah. Stomped every She's time. just like, I've done 3,000 of these. Like, here you, here, here you go, here's one. Um, Bob Reese, yeah. most creative. It was actually, when he picked up the chair, I just, you just went, oh. <laughs> the and, then, the and then two seconds later, he you were like, oh yes. I clapped my hands. I literally was like, <laughs> <laughs> like, when he smacked the camera again. Smashed yeah. a camera. I mean, if it was me, I'd be pissed, but uh, <laughs> I've, I I can't not find it funny, the cameraman getting smacked and smacked by chair. It's just like, it was the, the the psychotic grin on his face when he picks up the chair and then runs across the <laughs> this platform. This <is> creative. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but he was a weird one because Bob is a fucking monstrous athlete. Yeah. And he didn't really seem to have that much in that run. There was a lot in that run, but it didn't, I don't know. Like he can do seven twenty fronts. He can do so many crazy yeah, I think things. He was the one. He was. The, he was one of the ones who who wasn't maybe not expecting. To yeah, maybe he just had like just cared I, about getting to the final. There or? is the tactic of get through to the finals and get a free holiday next year. Like <laughs> secure yeah. your space. Yeah, and also to be fair, he got through. Um, no, he got through on the online, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and uh, but and and but no, that was it. He put on Instagram the other day that like he used to take it really, really seriously, and now he is the said like have fun and sort of do his bit. So I guess like, like we were just saying, people such as Christian and Ed, it's like, they go there to try and podium. Like it's so evident that that is really in their mission. And Bob was probably like, I'll do my shit. And if I podium, great, but also I'm just gonna have fun with it. So yeah, for people like Ed, it's kind of part of his training style. Yeah, yeah, like yeah exactly. It's just in every day. Yeah. yeah. Um, speaking of Ed, obviously did some lovely stuff at the start, but then side pre, slip out was just like that was because ed there was so much it was like shit when it came down to those last three you're like ed dd well, last four ed dd christian and archie after seeing like bob's run you're just like okay he's probably not gonna unless unless everyone else flops he's probably not gonna get up yeah. there so i was like okay first of the big guns like here comes ed and the uh we what so you think that he was doing the side pre and he was gonna try and stick it Turn around and then set off for the Congena, right? See, I don't think the Congena was just a chance. But no, time, I don't think you can really just good. unless you're Travis. Maybe you're not going to just lob a Congena with no yeah, prep. Yeah. Like I think, I think he did look like he was trying to control his speed so that he didn't. Hence the bomb slip out. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that Congena was very deliberate. It wasn't like oh, yeah. I'm going to save it. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and fair play for Congena off that because it does look fucking. Where yeah. it's like down off that platform, two three steps, and then into it, which isn't easy. And on a slippy <clears> wall, <throat> which they looked like. That's the thing. If I had that much slippage surface. on, because you saw people's hands slipping and feet, you yeah. you start to lose faith in the the fucking <laughs> in, thing in, in, <laughs> in life. In life. <laughs> um, I wrote at this stage, it doesn't feel like he could get first place given what's coming behind him. Oh, he did Kong dive roll over the boat, which was also sick that was cool. yeah, over that the gap. Cool. But yeah, I kind of got the feeling on that once again, because of the slips, I was just like, unless the next three who are all undoubtedly potential winners have serious issues, I don't yeah. feel like Ed's run would get him first. Yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a good run. Oh yeah, I, think, I mean it's an Ed run, yeah, so like you. Really good run. Just, <laughs> that's the thing. Any of those runs are good runs. Really yeah. Just like one little mistake can throw your overall impression off. Yeah. Because everything else about it was like really, really nicely put together and well executed. It was just the side pre, and then just that little bit. Uh, maybe that's the overall impression. Was the vibe of the runoff almost? Yeah. It is really interesting because you think about like I know like Noah's one for example where we got really like gassed because there were no slip ups. There's no moment where you go like ah 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 ah. Like that. Whereas so you're just like, with Ed or someone, you're like, oh, and then he does the side pre and you're like, oh, because you feel bad for the person. You feel like yeah. everything, like, which I guess it does affect it. Um, so he got 401 points. Four, DD. 405, I think. Yeah, sorry. I'm looking at 405 and just said 401. <laughs> DD then coming in and uh, I'd seen him prep this in practice yeah. and I I ruined it for you, unfortunately, because I was like, oh shit, he's going to do the double <laughs> side. I was like, oh, God. Uh, it literally looked like what would have happened if I tried it. 
It's <laughs> tragic. <laughs> Fucking hard, hard impact as well. Like you kind of yeah. hit the corner yeah. around the floor. Yeah. Like, but I, know, I mean, doing again the slippy course, trying to do something like that when you is grip and is and such such a like short curved run up, the yeah, curved yeah, run yeah, up just, off a platform, yeah. not the because he's in the past he's done them like off the floor, which oh, I guess probably run up more. I, think it's, I don't know, and, two or three steps. And I feel like that's going to help if you're going off the floor. Your trajectory is going up for the start, and at that least you know up. where you need to get around to again. Yeah, if you know yeah. what I mean. Um, although I guess going off a higher platform could benefit you, but it just it's not a nice setup and. He, I was convinced he slipped. We then watched it numerous times in slow-mo and it didn't look as bad, but when into fast motion, it just felt like his first foot just went like, which is, I mean, any, any slip on that is going to be enough to throw you off. Oh, fuck. Just can't even imagine trying that. No. I mean, I can, but I can imagine landing. I was watching him go into the run up after you told me what was about to happen. I was like, no, like that can't yeah, happen yeah, in that yeah. space. <laughs> I would have loved to have seen the rest of his run because if he was going in on that, on that like fire yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, I was super interested with Didi because he's he's been like a ghost for the entire year. Well, two years almost. Like he's yeah. posted a bit and there's been kind of some cool stuff about him. He, he's done yeah. adverts for Champion and things, but like he hasn't been like Ed, for example, where it's really felt like since Ed's last competition, it's like, okay, he is training. Not specifically for comp, but... Yeah. His, with with lines like that in mind. Whereas Didi's, I guess if you're in LA, he's just kind of been, and he had a knee injury. He was obviously covered in a lot of tape. A lot of rehab. Um, but it was it was kind of that mysterious, like, shit, what's this guy like? He just had invented some new way what to- What has been cooking up? Yeah, kind of some new way to do a triple or something like that. <laughs> uh, so that was a massive shame. But then it kind of secured that Ed was going to be, at that point it was he like, well, Ed is, third. Ed is yeah. second or third or first if the other two fuck up, yeah. which was fairly unlikely. <laughs> Um, Christian, I mean, Christian just has a format for his runs. Like if you think about the, all the times he's won air whip and competed at air whip and things like this, it is short, sweet, connective is like pretty perfect. Not, not always the best, but he like, he, and apparently That's according much. to the interviews, not the interviews, Trosty and things, they were saying like, he was just turning up. He knew everything he wanted to do. He was just turning up, chilling, like not training because he just had it all planned. And he's like, That's sick. That's sick. just confident in what he's yeah, going to do. Yeah. Doesn't have to stress over it. Yeah, you can you can watch his runs and and not and just be so comfortable and watching it, like yeah. appreciating it, and yeah. not worried that he's going to slip up or not finish his run quite yeah. right or whatever. Like, there was the so one the one thing where he did was it just like Webster, and he was going to and then Carl Skeiner. Yeah, but I think I, I think he was so deliberate in putting his hands on the wall. It looked like he was going to go straight into Kongena, yeah, yeah. but when you I think, watch his facial expression, he was not. I think maybe he was hoping to Webster a bit closer to the wall because there was that he kind of landed the Webster and kind of went like that, and then stepped yeah, yeah. closer and then went into cast. So maybe yeah. he was hoping to land like the Webster right here. But even at that, it was still yeah. a smooth. Oh, it was like, still it was sick. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that insane. was the one. That was the one moment where you're like, you oh, kind of you spotted that? a glitch almost. You're yeah, like, oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, yeah, that was 360 dive roll. That was fucking sick. Yeah, that was, yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was sick. Yeah, very, very cool. Uh, it's a good thing the Mediterranean doesn't really have like a, a serious tide. It's it's pretty <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. pretty non-tidal for that area of the world. That's true. Because um, over an hour and a half, you could get some distinct like pull yeah. and push. Yeah. I wonder if they had to like slow down the traffic in the port. I don't know if you've ever like sat on a boat in the port and a big boat goes yeah, past or yeah. pulls out and you get a lot of swell. It's pretty wild. Um, and then Archie was like, once Christian had done his run, he was 4.13, so we knew he was in front of Ed and it was just like, yeah. what was, is Archie yeah, going to pull out the bag? Um, I was waiting for the chapel, man. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he, he repeated the pistol... Um, double frisbee. Double, double frisbee, double. which we were talking like, yeah. does that... As, as you said, if you're the judge and you've already seen it once, you're not going to be as excited. Yeah, that's what I was going to say was, one of my questions was, if Archie came back and did the exact same run he did in qualifying, would he have scored as many points? Yeah. I don't think he would have. Though, no, sorry, that wasn't me agreeing. That was like, exactly. Yeah, I don't think he, I don't think he would have. And I think, I think he's been down, marked down for that because I think if you hadn't seen anything he'd done before and he pulled out that, that, yep. was, a, that was a winning run, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or at least, yeah. What was your opinion about, so so Archie then came in in third. I feel like we had a little bit of chat about the the, the Ed and Archie. Yeah. I, I, my gut feeling when I'd finished seeing Archie's run thought he was going to go in at second and Ed yeah. was going to go third. Yeah. I was, I was, just, I was wondering which one of them was going to come first, Archie or Christian. Yeah. And I didn't think that Archie was going to be placed lower than Ed. 
Okay. No, I felt I, I like my gut feeling was that Christian was still going to be first, but I thought Archie was going to be second. Yeah, but I mean, two points in it. So I think really, yeah, it just I comes think, down. I to think a, that would be good to get cleared up though. Is whether like doing the same thing in the same place. But it's the overall is, feeling as well. Yeah, it? it's, it's the, the overall hype. Feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get as hyped, you don't get as stoked. Do you know what I mean? It's not as exactly. Stoked. I mean, we were saying actually this morning. I was talking about not that this was. Yeah. In um in one run because we we were watching some of the Matera runs I can't remember who it was but like you know in like you play Tony Hawks in like skating and in in the comp runs if you do let's say like a 720 kickflip if you do it too many times in the same comp run on the like the comp things and I assume this is the same in skateboarding this is me basing my knowledge off of a fucking game but you don't let's say you get a thousand points for the first one you don't get as many points for the second one because it's like you're just recycling the move you can already do yeah which i would assume it is the same case for yeah. it's gonna stop yeah. you spamming it for yeah. this kind of thing because otherwise yeah you could just go but like it might be it might have been his knowledge of it as well maybe he thought that 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 didn't matter do you know what yeah I mean? so, yeah yeah so that's interesting yeah otherwise you just learn the hardest move in the world and then just do five of them walk <laughs> off and be like cool i'm done yeah. do you think the judges got to see them training no, typically they don't. Okay. Typ typically they try really hard to like not see anything and also not hear yeah, about anything. I think that's important. Really. Yeah, yeah, because it can really ruin like the... Yeah, as soon as you told me that Diddy was doing a double side, it was already, I'd lost the... Like, yeah, you, know, you need that, that stoked feeling yeah, of just like, oh shit. Um, <laughs> just yeah. like, because it's, it's the like the castaway, for example. The arse away because if you if we didn't know that was coming, yeah, I mean it's pretty obvious to work going? out. You'd be like, well, "Why is this starting there?" Oh, yeah, right. I guess if you're a judge, you might think he's just going to do like a pushback thing. Yeah, yeah. But fuck me, like the the expectation as a judge, if you didn't know that was coming, you'd be like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and I mean, once again, Bob Reese with a chair. That was like we didn't know that was coming. Innit? I think the judges just have to block David Nelms on Instagram. He did, yeah. Most of what I saw did come through. I literally, David I didn't watch. I, I started to watch David Nelms' story, and it's just was just revealing everything about the competition. I was like, I don't want to watch this. I want to watch it actually. Properly. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Live stream. Um, so titles or podiums was Lilu best trick, which was sick. Double cork. Yeah. yeah. Um, and second place, Elise third place, and Noah first place, which I think was very very fair yeah, just, for the girls. Um, no nice. no discrepancies yeah, there. What I didn't know, or well, what we didn't know, and we we're trying to work out, is whether or not there is a, th a tiered prize money for the girls. Yeah. Because I know in back a few years ago, but when it, like it used to just be the girls were judged against the men, and then it was like best female. Now I don't know what the the deal is. Yeah, I think they should. Yeah. They should, they should be the exact yeah, same. yeah. But yeah, it's an interesting thing. We were actually wondering. Coming on to the uh, Stora double money thing. Yeah, because Lily was obviously yeah, wearing. Because Lily was on the podium with the. Uh, with Stora, yeah, yeah. Stora. So it'll be interesting to see whether or not they sort of do anything there. Yeah. Because uh, technically, yeah, she was on the podium. Yeah, she was on the podium. So maybe even if Red Bull don't give her anything, they'll give up something. Yeah, hopefully. Um, yeah, that was an interesting thing because we. I was actually surprised that there wasn't as much Stora as I expected. There were a lot of. There obviously, there's Stora in the heats, but they all got kicked out, didn't they? <laughs> I'm kidding. No, but there wasn't even like there was quite there was there was a bit, but I kind of part of me thought there was going to be like everyone apart from the Red Bull athletes, if you know what I mean. Because yeah, like sure. Josh Malone, for example, was I think he was wearing a bean shirt. Yeah, I'm not sure what it was, but like yeah. he could have got through to the final. He could he could have podiumed if things had gone right for him. And like it's not a small feat to turn down double money. So, sure. um, but yeah, and then male podium. Christian best trick, which was the cast gainer. Yeah, has, um, that, has that been the best trick before? I maybe feel like, I feel like both of those things have won the best trick. It been wasn't the best trick in the past. Yeah, it wasn't the most inventive year for best tricks, if you know what I mean. It was a very sketchy setup, though. There was a lot of kind of yeah, and things like if if and Josh had maybe either landed. Yeah, yeah or that, or yeah, got yeah. through to another round. He might have thrown something that could have ticked that box, yeah. or Ellis. and then it wouldn't. It, yeah, or yeah. Ellis. Or Shea yeah. hadn't landed on his ass. Oh yeah, Shea, actually, oh. that's a very good point. If Shea hadn't landed on his ass, he probably I definitely would have got. But can you get best trick if you don't make it to Poe? I think you can. Yeah, because I, th yeah. I think Alfred Scott. Won yeah, it that's a very good point. Yeah, going through before. Um, <sighs> yeah, yeah, but do you have to get through to the finals? That's the thing. I don't know. I mean, it's. It's not the best trick of the final. Best trick of, the whole, best trick of the whole competition. I mean, to be fair, landing on your ass should probably get that anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah, best trick, you walked away. Worst trick of the competition, running about with a chair. Best trick of the competition, smashing a cameraman in the face with a chair. <laughs> Double whammy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and yeah, Ed, Ed second, Archie third, which we've already had that kind of debate. But I think like, as we said, I think judging this year was be- definitely better than previous years. Nothing, no like massive disgust. It's just, just going to change with who's judging it. Like who's judging it you know, and the heat layout. Right? Exactly. Like, yeah, the podium. Well, I think the podium, we that, that could have been predicted, the Christian Ed Archie yeah, mm. as the top three. I mean, uh, none of us were betting on it, if you know what I mean. But no. We we all kind of had our we, we had uh, we had some underdogs pinned. Uh, yeah, we had like personal kind for. of not even like personal favorites because actually the person I thought I would ra- that I would rather other people won, but the guy I thought was gonna win didn't. Yeah. Um, but ah, uh, sick competition! I'll be excited to see whether or not it's in uh, Paris next like it the boat thing's a cool novelty as a one-off but if it was like every year it happens on a boat it'll be like why the boat yeah like you could just do it It was it was a lot cooler than i thought it was going to be yeah i like that a lot better than the last next year on a submarine (laughs) on a plane on the fucking wings of a biplane (laughs) aircraft carrier and then the plane takes off and you have to do a flip off of the plane wasn't there there was a time um what was it like i don't know 2012 or something when they did like loads of different ones around the the world Yeah. yeah, yeah, they did five in one year, I think it was. That was sick. They did Japan, Brazil, Detroit, London, and somewhere else. Yeah, that it was would be pretty some, wild. Brazil, was there one in Brazil? I think it was Brazil. Was it? Or, yeah, it was something like that. Yeah. I, uh, I can't remember. It would be sick, though, to see some more spaced out throughout the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that was really cool, because like, you had, I think, like, I mean, Jason won some, Marcus, I think, podiumed in some of them, Tim won a couple, or maybe yeah. one. Like, yeah. it, it really built up this, like, and also, I mean, if that was prior, in the same way that I guess Fig were doing it, in the fact that like, if if you were competing five times a year, you could actually earn a significant, uh, and podiuming most yeah. of those times, you could yeah, start to live a life as a professional competing yeah. athlete, yeah. which is pretty much impossible as it is at the moment. It's funny though, to see that like now that the podium, both women's and men's is like a completely new generation. Mm. Like none of, like if you, like these, they wouldn't be here anywhere. Like, four years ago, five years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, I remember Ed's, Ed's first oh, emotion. He just turned up at the qualifiers yeah. and like was super surprised. We're well, not surprised, but it was like, oh shit, like Ed's got through kind of yeah. thing. And then everyone was rooting for him and he did pretty well. Yeah. Um, and now it's like, now he's a household name in terms of yeah. cons. Yeah, yeah. Which is sick. But yeah, that is mad. Cause it's like, you look at sort of um, Shay and- What's sick I think is like, the rivalry between Ed and Christian because it's every single competition. Yeah. It's like first and second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, uh, Airwhip, is, it's been that and things. Yeah, yeah. I just, wonder if that's ever going to like... What, they're going to fucking keep, knock each other keep out? Going. yeah. Who would a, win? A paid fight. Who would win? Yeah, we can do a <laughs> MMA. Mate, Ed's, Ed's, con- Ed's a condensed man. He is a, he's a compact <laughs> little guy. I don't like. think you could push him over. <laughs> but Christian's not small either. He's, 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 like, cool. he's flowy, he would like... Drift He'd like Capoeira <laughs> away. <laughs> yeah. Ed would just fucking run him down. Like that'd be sick. Yeah, wait, let's just look through this. Who would win out of an entire fight? Like round heat heat one. I think Bob would. Heat one. Bob's a big guy. He, he'd he'd grab a chair. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I reckon him. Travis would have a couple of Stellas and just fucking batter someone. Yeah, he's got yeah, he's got that. Ellis he's might have a rage. rage. <laughs> Ellis might have a rage streak. Yeah. And Noah might just like be some it's just nutter like uh fucking uh, martial art kill bill style <laughs> round two. Oh, that's ed and christian yeah okay well that settles that uh round three are we t- still talking about who'd win in a fight yeah yeah literally oh, okay. who would who would who would beat the shit out of somebody else <laughs> at least at least would fucking have them all she's from up north yeah I mean, she would actually <laughs> she's northern Dean like, looks angry a lot of the time. Nah, but he's a big softy. Trust me, Elise is northern. That is an ultimate just like, <laughs> she'd eat a, like, eat a fucking pie and just like take a pool cue to someone. <laughs> anyway, that's enough fun. Um, I mean, that's kind of it really. I think, I think to be honest, it was a really good event. Like thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And uh, if, yeah, so uh, this is still recording, which is good. Hopefully the audio hasn't gone out of sync because the last few times we filmed this by the end of it, because it's a long clip and this is a long audio. Oh, right. By the end of it, it's like, <laughs> like that. but um, 
if you've enjoyed watching us, which personally, I don't really understand why people watch podcasts. Like if you watch, if you actively watch the Joe Rogan podcast, apart from clips of like Elon Musk smoking weed, I'm just, I don't really get it. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to waste an hour of my life watching two people sit at a table, but you just have, if you're here. So <laughs> um, we got, we got, uh, we've been really, really slacking with the podcast, but we've got plans to crack out a few before the baby arrives and I'm probably going to be out of the picture. I, 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 this is the thing I really don't know. I've, I've, it depends when the baby arrives. But also I've had this conversation kind of to death with you guys and other people. It's just like, I, I, some people say it, it takes over, like flips your entire life and you have no time and other people are like, no, it's manageable. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sure you can talk shit with the baby the in your hands. Just yeah. Like, you just hear a little, a little gurgling. And, <laughs> um, but yeah, we're, we're going to film and record a load more of these. And if you've never listened to this, then check us out on iTunes or Spotify or my favorite podcast app, which is called Air with, with an A and I and a double R. It's really good because you can do, you can, you can clip sound bites. So I could say something really wise, like water is wet and you can like, you can clip it. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> but you can clip it and it saves that sound bite. So if you listen to like a good podcast, it's the only podcast app that you can do it. It's really cool. Um, and yeah, and if you want to watch this normally, then go sign up to the workshop, the Patreon, which also we've been a little bit slacking with, but the Discord there is sick. We talk about loads of stuff and oh my God, I got them to ask a load of questions and we haven't answered them. So here we go. Quick. Questions from the workshop members. Um, oh my God, there's loads now. Oh, really? Was, <laughs> yeah. it based on, was it based on the art of motion or was it just- Yeah, like okay. Questions? Would be, in okay, so we've covered the debate about cameramen. That's fine, we've done that. Do we have any ideas for other comp formats? I mean, personally, just a fight. <laughs> just a fight. After party <laughs> followed by a fight <laughs> would be the one. Um, uh, to be honest, I think a lot of the comp formats have been, not all of them have been done, but- Yeah, I that, mean, that that other one in and Al Angeles or something in Spain. That was, that was, that was weird. That was a bit naff, but personally. At least people are trying. It was like lob a big trick while sprinting. Yeah. Um, what's the- the one that I'm going to miss this year again, because I missed it the other time, in Holland. Or in the spot. Mm. Or in the spot. That's a sick That's format. A, well, Very yeah, different yeah, style, obviously, but really, style. really cool. Uh, and obviously speed and skill, which like you love remind skill. Me, remind me of own the spot again. You go to the event and over the course of a couple of days, you are set, was it areas or challenge? It was like, yeah, it was like- Yeah, different challenges. Go to this area and like the best clip, you have to go and you have to capture your best clip or line or move mm. in that area. So there'll be like, because it was in Holland, it was like the best feel and best trick. And yeah. Most so it was like, there, there was like a church spot and you basically had like a couple of days to just spread out around the city and train. And then you submitted all your clips and then people won prizes. That's sick. That's sick. So very informal, but also like pushes yeah. you to do sick yeah, stuff. Yeah. Uh, and they did a speed comp at that event as well, I think. Yeah, yeah. But I think the real takeaway was the other format, which seemed to work really well. Urban speed comps. I'd like to see more of them. Yeah, yeah true. Sick. Proper sports. What do you guys look for in a run? I feel like people neglect flow. This is from Joshua Stelu Stelui. Mm -hmm. People neglect flow a lot and go for the biggest tricks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he then said, he then said, I've never seen a Keelan run in our emotion. I think Keelan would do so well. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Keelan, Keelan could like, if he yeah. planned his run perfectly and it all went well, could do very, very well. Yeah. He doesn't have the most difficult, but he can, I mean, he, he can, he can double and stuff. So like, sure, sure. Um, I guess because the style that you've sort of said a Keelan run is fairly new in the last couple of years, there's really like found its feet anyway. And also mm -hmm. like, I think there is just a tried and tested comp format that does tick boxes for all the judges and therefore people do play into that. Um, but you just have to look at the top three to see that yeah. like you, like what it's works. about connectivity and, and flow and the overall impression. Imagine just melding all three of those top runs together to create like the best, oh. like that. I don't know how- A mega run. Yeah, if you just took all the best <laughs> bits, like all the highest scoring areas and kind of made them into a thing. Uh, is there anything you have to do to compete like drink, hold or wear Red Bull stuff? No. <laughs> they're, they're all brief though afterwards, aren't they? Like to drink a Red Bull. Well, they, you, you're given a can or a bottle of water, but you can opt. Like oh, right. what's really interesting is if you ever work on a Red Bull shoot, as a cameraman or, or anything, they, there, there is a certain, or if you ever see a brief for like mm. a Red Bull project, there is a certain amount of uh, uh, like brand awareness that they want to get in there, but actually they like to keep it, f they, they get like one can shot and like a bit of branding, but they don't want you wearing like a Red Bull hat. Like they don't want everything and they don't want people just like chugging constantly. And you see it a lot where people are like, oh shit, I want to get sponsored by Red Bull. I'm going to do flips with a Red Bull can. I'm going to drink a Red Bull can loads. And it's like, 
you know that's lame, we know that's lame, and therefore Red, like Red Bull know that's lame. Like they want that kind of slightly more, because the can's so fucking distinctive, the branding's so distinctive. Like mm. it can be fairly subtle while still being obvious. Um, so no, no one's like forced to do anything like that, really. Red Bull athletes might be. Uh, they've got like, they've got requirements in regards to like wearing a certain amount. If they're on a, if they're on like a project and things, it's like they're expected to wear like one item and things. Um, thoughts on DD send. I think it was valid. Like he's done that move a number of times in the past. He'd done it, I assume in practice or at least got close. Yeah. He does seem like the sendy type. Yeah. yeah. A little, a little bit. Um, Actually, yeah, I guess a bit because in like the the Kawahara he did in Matura was pretty yeah. fucking lobby, pretty like gnarly. pretty <laughs> sick side side to Kawahara. He, he certainly tosses the coin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he he does put his eggs in a basket of like if this if I fuck this up it could blow the comp, and unfortunately this time it but did. It, well, it didn't because he's he's back next year. Oh. True. Yeah, he's got free holiday. Yeah, it depends how you see it. Yeah. Uh, can we talk about Didi's execution score in that first round? To be honest, I can't remember what the score was. I can't remember what it was. It, it might have been, I think it might have the, been the execution. Yeah. I assume it was higher than, yeah. cause he did, he had some, some quite like, compared to some of the guys who like, um, Archie's Katahara over the wall, where like you said, like he could have kind of bailed it, but he saved it. Some of Didi's were quite like, like he sort of fell. To be fair, he does fall aesthetically. Do but like, I mean? but he fell into like the fence. The fence of the, yeah, the like, fence type of thing. Yeah. There's a few like that where he was just like, bang. I think stuff like that should be judged a bit more harshly, personally. Yeah, yeah. I guess um, that's what that was. Um, Jared Abbott yeah, was asking Mimi that. Didn't have if that was the case, if that was the case, yeah. Mimi, Mimi would have got through, and he executed his like perfectly. Yeah. It's like I, I find it so much nicer just to watch a perfectly executed run that's a bit less difficult than. For yeah. sure. I think everyone's on the same boat with that, but yeah. I don't, yeah. Um. Opinion on the set and layout of the comp. This is Jared Abbott again. I personally, he, he said, I feel like it was a little bit empty and bare and the crowd was far away. Yeah, I think. Uh, actually, I mean, R Red Bull don't care about the spectators there. They do like an amount. If you think about Santorini, if anyone's ever been, you the, the spectating viewing point, unless you queue up at nine in the morning and sit on the fucking wall looking at the course, you basically can't see anything. What they care about is the camera angles and the location because that's what go like there's like a thousand people watching and then hundreds of thousands watching online. They care about that. So it's like yeah. the, it, cause yeah, from as a spectator's point of view, it looked like from 500 meters away watching a boat, it probably wasn't that great. And there's a screen, but like you're then watching the equivalent of what we're watching sat in a chair here. Um, um, just for those who didn't know, uh, Kai was also flying the FPV drone and judging at the same time. I know, exceptional flying from Kai on the FPV. Yeah, it, was a bit, it was a bit wiggly wobbly, yeah. I'm not going to lie. But. <laughs> <laughs> no, I assume, we assume it wasn't Kai, given that Kai is now like master FPV. I'd love to know who it was, to be yeah, honest. Like and also, were they just swapping battery? Because those things last minutes. I know, it didn't look like it. And how were they landing? Yeah. I was really hoping the whole time it was just going to crash into like a, a cable or a wire. Or <laughs> well, a live stream plunging into the ocean. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, look at that. We're approaching an hour. We're going to wrap this up. But hey. that, that was the Patreon questions. But um, yeah, thank you very much for getting involved. And I hope you, if you haven't watched the competition, go and watch it and show your support. And yep. you know, we haven't ruined anything for you. Like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it actually <laughs> should have put, you don't yeah. need to watch it anymore. Should have put that at the start really. <laughs> um, like, and subscribe, all that stuff. And we are trying to get more consistent YouTube content. It's just the guys we're working on bigger and better things. So, but we'll get back on it. Once Johnson and Robbie get back to Scotland, that's all they're doing. Cause they don't do anything else. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from clutter my house. <laughs> he threw out my soya milk this morning. I was absolutely raging. I'm not even going to, we're not, we're not even going to go sun. into it. We're not going to go into it. Johnston did a backflip. I in thought our we weren't bed. going into it. <laughs> <laughs> he can't yeah, he stop He's this man. He's taking Thank you for listening. <laughs> Love you lots. Goodbye. <laughs>